Right? Um, my name is Simon Wallard. Uh, and what I've been doing is letting people who want to program in Scratch uh, control the pins on the Raspberry Pi. One thing about the Raspberry Pi is got these pins that you can switch on and off and listen to and things like that. Um, we have to use you know, proper language to talk to that. <laughs> the audience has gone away already, you know. Um, so I want to make it so you can use it from scratch. So I've written a program in the Python language that luckily scratch when you when you do things, it's got this thing called broadcast. If you say broadcast LED one on, it sends a signal out saying LED one on. So I could just listen to that signal and uh, do the appropriate things. I was going to show the robot, of course the robot's not working because the Wi-Fi is not working, which is the classic. So simply we've got one here, not just simply wired up to the um, screen there, and it's got a um, high glow board. Now in the early days, there was nothing for the Raspberry Pi, so we'd have to get one of these, and plug in on the right wire, as you can imagine. Uh, but now, you can get all sorts of things. This thing's going to be out short, it's very heavy chains, switch a little buzzer. This one here was uh, done as a little Christmas thing by Ringo. You can control those 12 LEDs. It takes a long time to set uh, That's another little version. It's just got a buzzer. It's very LED. People have produced complete boards that will control robots. Like you've got them here and here. Um, one socket for the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So any of these boards, that one, that one, that one. So this is um, a guy called Jason Barnett, B O E R B. He did this as a Kickstarter. Um, so he's got all the sort of control of the servos and motors. But it's also here, it's got an on off switch. So this will actually properly power your Pi on and off. He's, he made, well, his first idea was to make a, a proper on off switch for Pi. And then when he put this in the robotics, when he did it, he added it in. So you can plug this in, and there's none of this pulling the batteries out while it's not on the team. It'll nicely shut down. So he did that as a Kickstarter, and I think it's going to go into sort of selling them. Um, there was another guy called Ryan, who was 17. And he made to go to mini version. And that has got two motor outputs, and you put a battery in there. And that will control, you know, one of these robots. And it's two motors, dead easy. And he's making that for like 12 quid, which is his first, you know, business venture. So that's what's going on there. Um, so, like I say, we've got this pie glow here, where the boys are pie glowing, and he made the whole little board up. And I'm just doing simple commands on this little keyboard there. <laughs> so, have you ever done any scratch at all? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, like you press the green flag, yeah, and um, which we see this. If you're looking on here, um, we tell them we've got an add on called a Pi Glow, so I've written the software so that you can say I've got a Pi Glow. I've got a motor PITX board, I've got an RT motor con, a simple step motor set up there. Uh, so you first thing, and then I've got it says turn the brightness down because you'll find out with this thing, it's a very bright LED, and then I just say switch everything off. And then I make it to so on the space bar, broadcast LED1 on, and LED1 comes on. So you can simply change that and say, right, don't make that LED1. I'm just trying to work out how to use this thing. Go to the next one. Get yourself one of these. Fantastic alcohol. So I change it over there. So now, um, one thing on scratch, when you press the enter key, it's the same as pressing the green flag. You can see it being cut there. And then space bar should all come on. Yeah? And also, so I've written the software as well. Think that's great. I can do it called all the LEDs 1 to 18. And then you sort of uh, introduce commands called. There's a bit of a debate this as to whether the arms or legs. So I've made it do the same thing. So if I click on there, for instance, and we're going to now get a broadcast, drag that out. And all you want to do is you just need to know what the broadcasts are for each individual thing. So we'll say a new broadcast, 
I will say that um, 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 I've been trying this for quite some time, so this is probably right. So they're all off at the moment, so when I click on that, we just have arm one from the bottom there. So, I mean, this was a, just fun to play with. What the thing about it is that um, it's a woman's right. I can't remember if this should be um, 100 or 255, so I'll just give it a number to start with, we'll see what happens. So enter, and then we'll switch it on now. Right, okay. Right. So, yeah, you can. so hopefully, I've got the brightness in the front here. We'll have to go and check why that's not working. Well, that should vary the brightness, but that doesn't seem to be the That's what you get in your live demos. But what I mainly want to do is, like, uh, in school, get a piss in the past. I work at Prime Minister now, network technician, but I've done a lot of scratch. And um, was always interested in doing real world stuff. Um, and it's trying to come up with a perfect device that would be really good to use in the classroom. And, and this is nearly my best one of the whole um, So luckily there's people out there and I just sort of and, and, and a sample turns up on the post. So this is my thing, so we've got nine LEDs. And you've got red, yellow, green, you can use that for traffic lights. If you make the corners all different, you can make a Simon memory game for the color splashes. We had, that's actually, we need to add another little red and green and a white LED so you can do a green man and the, and the white light. And a little buzzer would be handy. And then I, I said, well, what I really want is something that sticks out. So he's made it so that sticks out. You produce it on this board. Uh, there's a few people now coming along and they're making their boards extendable. And I'm telling all the manufacturers that get your hands on, make sure your board you can piggyback on top of it. Because then if you don't, if it's where this one came, I didn't have a buzzer. If you could piggyback on the top, you could add your own buzzer. So I think that would be quite useful. But there's all these little boards now, varying in price, um, you know, sort of around the £10 mark. This is the piving mode, and I made that into a clock. So, like, steady light was the hours, and flashing light to be the five minute mark. It was like, how can you make this a useful clock? We've all come up with ideas, so people do different things. And now I've got it to the stage it flashes. So, if it was 12 or 06, that would be steady, and that would sort of just flash once to show that it was five plus one. Or it would be on most of the time if it was just five. And if it flashed twice, it would be seven. So, you know. But this is what you this is what I want to do for kids to play with and try and work out what to do with it. Um, I did a thing once where I gave someone a servo and they were controlling a servo and a flag for a car. So with a red flag at one end and a green flag at the other. And they had a scratch car going along. When the flag went over, the car went and when the flag went over, the other one. And the other one is a whistle. He's stepping over to me. And a bunch of girls, and they just made up a little figure.